Happy Martini Monday! Guess what? We're trying a new request. I had a special request last week. So we're kind of going to do a part two of the dragon fruit this week. For those of you who did try my dra dragon fruit teeny last week and it was a little strong, let's try to fix it a little bit, okay? Brand new Cortini specialty. I hope you guys like it. So we're going to do a mango dragon fruit requested by basically the masses. It's the number one Starbucks drink. It's an iced beverage. If you have not had it, it is literally the number one drink at Starbucks. So why not make a martini? Here we go. I filled the shaker. As you can see, it's literally half frozen, three quarters full as usual, full of ice. Tonight I'm using Kettle One Vodka. Then the Cointreau fresh bottle. Bloop, bloop. I still have some dragon fruit left from last week. Now for this one, since we are adding a little mango, I'm going to do five, six, seven pieces of dragon fruit. Hope it's good. Remember everybody, new recipe. Then you gotta shake the mango, fresh bottle of mango juice for y'all. Remember, if you can't find it in the grocery stores, sometimes like ethnic food sections have a specialty one as well. You gotta get the mango. You can't do that mango like mix. <laughs> wow, this is a... <laughs> oh, I should have, I guess I should have had my husband open this before I <laughs> Wow, maybe we're just gonna have a dragon fruit tonight. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I got this. I got this. It's Monday. Pop. All right. Now, not too much mango, everybody. Bloop. It looked like a lot, but it wasn't. It's because it takes a long time to pour down. And then, boop. All right. I do stand by the amounts of my ingredients poured in. So never question my amounts. Ready? Shake, 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 shake that martini with cortini. Shake, 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 shake that martini with cortini. Let me get my fresh glass out of the freezer. All frozen, of course. I'm still with the spring blue. And let's see what happens. Hmm. Long weekend. Mother's Day, man, does a toll on me. That's why it's perfect to have a martini Monday. Here we go. Let's see the color. I hope it's okay. Oh yeah, it's still that beautiful, fresh spring color of dragon fruit. And actually looks just like the mango dragon fruit refresher. At Starbucks. Cheers. Now go make yours and join me in the living room. So how does it taste? Let's do it together. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh. That is good. Definitely needed after the weekend I had. How about you girls and guys? Good Mother's Day weekend? Mm. Oh man. Happy Monday. Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah. How was everyone's weekend? So I wanted to tell you guys, obviously it was Mother's Day. We had quite a week, let me tell you. But obviously it was Mother's Day yesterday. The first COVID Mother's Day. I mean, cheers to that. I mean, how did everyone survive? I mean, what was it like? I know what it was like in my city. Usually I ignore Mother's Day. I totally block it off. Those of you who know me know why, but I just ignore it and you know. But this year, I decided to embrace it and share with you what I did for Mother's Day yesterday. Enjoy. Happy Mother's Day! Live from New Smyrna Beach, baby. We are back in action. I wanted to celebrate Mother's Day with my favorite breakers, Mai Tai. 
It's literally the best thing ever created, made by my favorite bartender, Gigi. Cheers, Gigi. Thank God you're here. And happy Mother's Day weekend. What a scene, huh? Cheers. Did you see those pictures? Oh yeah, Cortini was back in action at the burger bar. So welcome, now you guys get to see, finally, I'm so glad I did that video yesterday. Now you guys can see how I spend my summers. That burger bar we call the Pink Castle. It's been closed for months and boy, it opened up 25% capacity. We were back in action. And it's the best way, obviously, to spend Mother's Day for me personally was at the beach. So the picture you saw of the woman and me with the mask, that's Gigi. Shout out and a cheers to Gigi. She has known me at that burger bar for four years. I think going on five. She makes the best Mai Tai ever, ever. That's why I showed it because it looks like sweet or whatever, but no, it's amazing. Oh man, nothing's better than sipping that Gigi's, I call it the Gigi Mai Tai on the beach with that sunshine on me. Oh, get rid of the spring skin. But yeah, so that was, so that's what I wanted to tell you. So that was, that was their new way of doing things for now. She was so excited to see me. She was, the manager who loves me, she, I mean, it was a guy, but he saw me and he's like, you're back. And I'm like, you're back. And then I was like, can I go in? Can I go get my Mai Tai? Is Gigi here? And he's like, no. So she's out back. She's making drinks, but she's out back at the tent. And if you guys saw this place, you would not want to go back out back in the parking lot. Like, no. I was like, what do you mean out back in the tent? And he's like, yeah, we're doing a tent. So you can't go in and get the drinks. You have to go to this tent and wait in line. But anyway, she greeted me with open arms. She did a photo with me, as you guys saw. She is the cutest, best little beach babe you've ever seen. She actually reminds me of Gidget. You guys know what Gidget is? Anybody who visits me in Florida, we go ask them. We go right to the burger bar. You need to meet Gigi. And then the second picture was Jesse. And he's a new manager at the Breakers, the burger bar. Well, not that new, but new to my life. I usually talk to Jeff. But Jesse wanted to be, wanted a photo with Cortini. He was hysterical. He's like, I'll get in with Cortini. I'm like, cheers. Come on in, Jesse. So cheers to the staff at the Breakers. Thank God you're open. Happy summer, thank God. I mean, who doesn't want the best cheeseburger on the beach and the best Mai Tai you've ever had, ever, trust me. I mean, a lot of my friends know, when I have a couple of those Mai Tais, I go swimming out in the deep shark waters of New Smyrna Beach, and I don't fear for my life, if you know what I'm saying. Cheers to summer bliss. So, did all you moms, were you treated like royalty yesterday? Gifts, 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 dinner, dinner, dinner. I have to show, like I said, I usually ignore it, but I have to show my gift I got for Mother's Day. You guys ready? It's literally epic. Are you ready? I was totally surprised. Oh yeah, custom t-shirt and look at the back. This is my favorite part. Could we get any more bougie? So it was a custom t-shirt made for me. I mean, I was so surprised. Love it. I can't wait to wear it. So, like I said, I usually ignore Mother's Day, but this year I decided to spread my, I not spread my joy, but I decided to take more of my wanting to forget about the day and then turn it into joy for others. So I did a small little clip for mothers that I know um, there are a lot more out there. I understand that. But I did a little more, um, what do you call it? I did a little more soul searching, I would say. Because I wanted to spread the love that I have in my heart for the mothers that are great to me, who love me, who've reached out to me, who reached out to me all day yesterday on Mother's Day. Thank you very much for thinking of me. Um, I hope you guys had a great day. And you know what? Don't take advantage. Don't take your mother for granted, girls. This is a little segment feeding off last week's for mothers and daughters, direct from Cortini's heart to yours. Cheers and enjoy. Love you all.